I'm Gerald Alpin, and I am the acting director of the Center for Drug Evaluation and Research's Office of Surveillance and Epidemiology, the office at FDA that monitors the safety of marketed drugs and therapeutic biologics. Today, I want to talk about FDA's transformation to a global agency. The medicines we use are increasingly coming from overseas. In the U.S., this is 40% of finished drugs and 80% of their active ingredients. What this means is that FDA is increasingly having to think, act, and engage globally. It has already begun to do this through initiatives like putting foreign posts in key locations such as China and India, harmonizing standards with other countries, and doing more risk-based monitoring and inspection abroad. It has also been involved in strengthening regulatory capacity. There are a number of examples of this, but one is a recent meeting that FDA and the U.S. Agency for International Development made possible in Nairobi, Kenya, to convene a forum of African regulators on the tools and best practices needed for conducting drug safety activities. By strengthening capacity in these systems, we make sure that the anti-HIV and other infectious disease drugs provided through global health programs, like the U.S. Global Health Initiative, are monitored for safety. And we also move closer to the Commissioner's vision of a global product safety net. To learn more about FDA's global engagement activities, look for our recently released report, Global Engagement, on the FDA website. And to learn more about FDA's strategy for future global engagement, search for the report, Pathway to Global Product Safety and Quality.